To be more precise at the review, this is a top variant of Toyota Innova 2021. The name goes like this. Toyota Innova Crysta ZX 2.4 7-seater diesel automatic. That's a big brand name. Let's clear the fog out and see the Toyota in its full glory, shall we? The first and foremost comes the engine and transmission. The Toyota Innova comes with a dual overhead camshaft engine with four inline cylinders, each cylinder having four valves with the engine displacement of 2393cc. That's a great displacement. The engine type is GD technology of Toyota. The fuel type is diesel. And the max power this car generates is 148 bhp at 3400 rpm. And the max torque it generates is 360 newton meter at 1400 rpm. The drivetrain is rear wheel drive. The transmission is automatic 6 gear torque converter with manual override and sport mode. It's a turbocharged BS6 compliant engine. Toyota has also updated the color scheme, you can check it out. To know how large or how heavy is this car, let us hop into dimensions and weight. The length is about 4.7 meter, the width is about 1.8 meter, the height is about 1.7 meter, the wheelbase is about 2.7 meter and the curb weight is 1920 kgs, a lot more kgs than the lower variants of this car. It has 5 doors, it has 7 seats for 7 person. There are three rows in the car and the maximum fuel capacity is 55 liters. But bro, whenever I travel in Innova, I feel nauseous and India is a hot country, bro. We need air condition and there are the seats good. The air condition is good. There is single zone, common fan speed control. There are vents on the roof. There is anti-glare mirror. There is reverse parking camera. There is front and rear parking sensors. There is cruise control. The seats are adjustable electrically and it is a leather, I would say artificial leather of seat upholstery. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and the interior comes with dual tone finishing. Oi Puttar, what about safety? Kids nowadays drive so fast, I'm so worried about them. No tension, there is safety because there is seven airbags in this car. There is child seat anchor points, there is seat belt warning and for braking and traction, there is anti-brake locking system, there is electronic brake force distribution, there is brake assist, there is electronic stability program, there is hill hold control, there is traction control system. There is much more safety in it. The overall feature and comfort of this car, it has a beige interior, it has ambient lighting, it has digital instrument cluster, it has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it has good music system like Bose. Now the final verdict. Who should buy this car? Now, if you hate kids and if you want to shove your kids down to the third row, you can definitely do that because the seating space in the third row is so compact there. No man, no man, woman can see it. Only aliens can see it who have no legs. All right. This is no handicap joke. All right. Yeah. The cons of this car, the things that I dislike is the steering wheel vibrates like John Cena is driving it. And if you want to have a car with a Jugadu perspective of making, then this is the car for you. And thank you. If I miss anything, please comment down. And if you want uh, another detailed review about another car, please free feel free to comment. It's free.